Uh, how's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Yaren the yo -Yoa Expert Mode Let's Play. So, if you remember last episode, we got our mission to battle the evil Wall of Flesh, and we just finished making our Wall of Flesh arena down in the depths of the underworld, and we got our cascade, and it's so awesome. Now, what we're waiting to do now is... Well, to get the code one off the traveling merchant, uh, because once uh, pre-hard mode finishes, he won't sell it anymore, which means we'd miss out on that amazing, amazing yo-yo. Well, more so, we're just looking to collect them all. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, we also need some sort of speed boost for the Wall of Flesh fight, and a lot of you suggested the um, the bunny mount from the fishing NPC, which I think is a fantastic idea. Um, so you only have to hand in five fishing quests to get it. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of a speed up to start the episode. Uh, we'll do a bit of fishing and yeah, elapse a few days and see if we can't get this code one to spawn. So let's get started. Okay, it's time to hand another quest in. Will we get the bunny? Yes, we've got the bunny mount. So good. Oh my gosh. Time for bunny. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh yes, and it gets double jump. Nice. Uh, we had a tsunami in a bottle in our accessories chest, so I put it on. I thought double jump's always nice. And this bunny mount is going to help a lot versus the wall of flesh. So the last thing we've got to do now is just wait for this merchant to sell us the code 1. And it will happen soon. And you can see I'm getting a nice supply of fishies and crates and all that stuff. So I'll keep fishing and hopefully he gets here soon. Oh my gosh guys, the merchant is here. Let's see if he's got magical wonders for us today. And by magical wonders I mean the code 1. Oh my goodness, where are you? Mr. Merchant! Oh, there he is. Hey buddy. You got a code one? Maybe a little... <gasps> He's got it! Oh my gosh. Wow, we got Ruthless on us. That's pretty cool. It's actually a really strong yo-yo, which is a... Uh... Ooh, lifeform analyzer. Rare creatures, huh? Hmm. Hmm, kimono. Hmm, water gun. Oh gosh, the possibilities. Should we pick it up? Five gold. Oh, I'll put it in my accessories chest. Why not? Oh, he loved, he loved that I spent the money. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. That's very nice of you. Alright, so let's put the lifeform analyzer in there. Because uh, we've got the radar and stuff, so we can work towards that. And we have the code 1. Oh my gosh. It's time to build some more yo-yos. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking about the malaise and it having its own room. So, I thought, well, I've got some even stone. So, I'm pretty sure you can make bricks out of that. Yep, you can. Um, so we could try making an Ebenstone yo-yo, um, and maybe using like shade wood furniture for it, or I think that would work. Um, so let's see, now these two gaps here look pretty good for a yo-yo. So maybe I could like raise it like one block or so, just to give it a bit of, just, just to change it up a bit. One block, two blocks. Maybe two blocks. Okay, and I'll keep going with this small yo-yo design, it works really well, it's reasonably round. Um, so, let's see. Yep, alright, I'll speed build this part, and then uh, we've, I've got an idea for another yo-yo there too. Alright, let's do this.
Okay, next on the list I thought we'd make a room for the code, code 1 as well because we really don't need to use it. And ideally I'd probably want to use cobalt bricks, I think they match the colour of it nicely. But um, I'm sure there's another blue bluish yo-yo coming up and um, we'll use ice for the Amarok. But I thought what might be cool is we could use our solidifier and maybe some slime and make a slimy room. And a lot of you suggested that and I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And it actually, you know, at least it makes use of our uh, solidifier that we got from our King Slime fight. So yeah, so we got some slimy blocks. Yep, cool, cool, cool. All right. So let's do another one on this side and then I'm going to hammer one of the yo-yos. A lot of you have asked for it so I want your opinion on how it looks. So let's put yep, that away and let's keep building. Alrighty, we've got our rooms done and it feels so awesome to have some more rooms in our base. Really, really cool. And just a quick check to make sure the housing is suitable. Yes, they are. So that is really, really cool. Alright, now I want to try... A lot of you have been asking to hammer the yo-yos. Um, just to see what they look like round. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hammer the dungeon one round. And then I'm not going to give my opinion on it. And I want you guys to let me know if you think it looks good or not. Um, so, you know, I'm more than happy to listen to your requests. And this one's come up a bit, so... I think the best way to find out once and for all if it's worth doing is to do it. And then you guys can just let me know. So, I guess in the comments today, your, your question to answer is... Do you like the look of the yo-yos when they're rounded? There you go. So I've hammered all the edges, and that's how they'll look if I do that. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, what we need to do now is actually put up our new yo-yo. So, let's put the code one in here. Beautiful, in its nice blue slimy room. And the next thing is we need to take down the malaise. And we'll put it in here. And I actually used some of the dungeon decorations in here, which I thought was kind of cool. Like the necromantic uh, banners and all that kind of cool stuff. So now we've got a space for another yo-yo there, which is beautiful. So now, pretty much all we need to do, I think. I think we've done everything we need to. It's time for a boss battle. So let's make our way down to the underworld. Whoa. Alright guys, let's do this. Buffs are on, Bunny is on, Bat hit me before the fight even started, that's always good. And uh, our first job is to get rid of these hungries, because, well, they are hungry for Bunny, and we don't want poor Bunny to get eaten. So, uh, yeah, so luckily our armor is nice and high, so the laser hopefully is not going to hurt too much. 
Now, I think in expert mode, though, the wall of flesh regenerates its hun hungries as the fight goes on. So what I need to do is just reduce their number a little bit and then sort of try and get in and focus on the eyes. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go here. Um, also, I'm not sure if you guys know, but the hungries actually deal more damage as the fight goes on and as the wall of flesh gets less and less health. So they actually become quite dangerous later on. Um, and if you look at the stats, yeah, they get a bit scary. <laughs> Alright, I think we can start doing a bit of damage to the eyes here. Whoa, we're taking some hits. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of some more hungries. Yep, beautiful. Alright. The good thing about the yo-yo, I suppose, is it just sort of sits on the eye, so... Yeah, you can't really miss as long as you... Oh, see? More hungries have come. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is going to be tricky to do enough damage. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh goodness. I want that heart. I think I just took more damage than uh, the heart actually regenerated. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> it's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. <gasps> heart. No. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe we lost. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. But uh, I guess when you think about it, all I was using was Iron Skin Potion, Regen Potion, we didn't have any honey. So, and this is a relative expert mode, you know, you, you're not going to beat every boss first time. I've probably been a bit lucky so far, actually. So what we need to do is power up to the max, no mucking around now. So I'm thinking, um, I just, before I started recording this little bit, I've put an imbuing station down, I want to play around with a flask of fire um, to boost the fire damage on our cascade. I also want to get the shark tooth necklace to increase our armor penetration against the hungry, so we'll need a blood moon for that. And also we've got some potions that we haven't used that I think would have helped a lot during that fight. Um, and these are just from, um, they're either from fishing chests or loot we found along the way. So we've got some heart reach which really would have helped in that fight. A few times I had to run into the hungries to get the hearts, whereas these will just come straight to me. Thorns is cool. We've got a random Inferno potion, which can't hurt. And we've got a Life Force potion. So a lot of things we can do here to power up. So I'm thinking a power up montage is in order, so let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're almost ready. Uh, we've done a lot of powering up, our accessories are ready. And one thing I'm going to make, and I don't usually use this item, um, is we're actually going to make a keg. And the reason for making a keg is you can get um, uh, ale from it, which gives you a big buff to your melee abilities. So let's just put the keg there for now. And then using some glass, we're going to make some mugs. Uh, which, uh, let's see, I don't usually make these. Uh, I'm probably looking right at them, there we go. So let's make quite a few. And then when you s stand in front of a keg with a mug, you can make ale. Now, sake is better that you get from the travelling merchant, but he's a bit random, so... So when we use that, we actually lose four defence, but we gain bonus damage. So definitely worth it. Um, so I'm happy to spend a little bit of defence to get some extra damage. Alright, next thing is to make some of our potions. Uh, one is the Wrath Potion, which is why I went and fished for Ebon Koi. Uh, four should do for now. And I also wanted to try the Flask of Fire. So let's make a few of those. And you just need water and... Um, sorry, water and Hellstone Ore, which I had some left over. And it makes all of your attacks do a flaming attack. Alright, so... Bro, 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 bro. Now we just need to grab some of our potions, life force. Let's use the Inferno potion, let's use thorns. 
And life force. Heart reach, all this good stuff. I think we're ready. All right, people, the time has come for round two versus the wall of flesh. Oh my gosh. Let's bring on this fleshy beast. Okay. So changes I've made. Um, I was actually doing some research and it appears that the hungries are slightly um, affected by knockback. So I made a titan potion which you can make from uh, just bones and death weed and all that stuff. Um, and you can already see that it's knocking them back a little bit, which is nice. I also reforged our yo-yo for godly over demonic because that actually gives you some increased... Um, increased... what am I thinking of? Happy? <laughs> um, yeah, it gives you some increased... Uh, knockback as well. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it's hard to commentate and focus on this at the same time. But I shall do my best. Alright, it seems to be working okay at, at the start, and what is nice, I'm noticing, is the counterweight is actually knocking the hung hungries away from me a little bit, which is good. Okay. Ow. Okay, we're starting to take some damage now. It wouldn't be too bad, it's just the hungries respawn, so gosh, quickly... Okay, we've got to pull back a bit here. Okay, the guide is back. Alright. Oh, goodness. Uh, I want to try and keep the damage on the wall of flesh if I can. Because as soon as you retreat, like, you're giving it time to respawn its hungries. So, I know it, it would make sense to run away, but you've got to try and avoid it if you can. You can already see it's starting to regen more of them. Oh, goodness. Alright, we're going to have to tactical retreat for a bit. That's okay. This is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... I'm just waiting for my potion uh, heal to knock back in. And then we can have another go at it. Alright. Beautiful. Alright, we're almost ready. And boom, potion, buff back on. Alright, let's... Ah, uh, good, we got some good hits on the eye then. That was awesome. Okay, ow, ow, leeches everywhere. <laughs> Actually, what is working kind of well is I'm not leaving the yo-yo extended the whole time. I'm like letting it withdraw and then recasting it to knock the hungries back. Actually, yeah, that's that's working okay. Although you got to aim for the mouth because that's where the hungries are, which does less damage, but that's okay. Oh, we're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. Oh, two thousand health. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Ah, come on, you can do it, Yaren. You can do it. Oh, five hundred health. Run! <laughs> oh no! Oh, we've done it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, a soul! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! Oh my gosh! That was just not. Oh no! All right, let's see what we get in the treasure box. Oh, we got the trophy! Awesome! Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't believe it's over. That was so hard. That was a good challenge. I liked that. Um, yeah, really tough. Really, really tough. But possible. And I kind of liked... Oh, it's the uh, tax collector. But I haven't got any purification powder. So we're just going to have to take him out for now. Um, what can you do? Um, so that strategy was interesting, guys. Actually, only using the yo-yo for a second or so at a time. And what happened is the the yo-yo and the counterweight were knocking the hungries back pretty much non-stop. Um, which obviously makes you take less damage. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the way to go if you're trying to do it with a yo-yo. And thank you as always for watching another episode of Yaren the yo yo -er. It's, uh, what an epic battle, this uh, episode. It's probably one of the toughest uh, boss fights I've had for a while. And, uh, yeah, Wall of Flesh expert, tough when you're doing melee. But uh, it can be done, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to hard mode now. So, really important uh, viewer question today. 
would be what would be your first three things you would do in a yo-yo let's play in hard mode. So I just looked at the wiki and there's like four or five different yo-yos you can pretty much get straight away. Um, there's the skeleton merchant to get the yo-yo glove. Uh, so we can upgrade to the yo-yo bag. I was going to call it the yo bag. To get the yo bag! <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's just so much to do. We can make new yo-yo rooms. Oh my gosh. So if you want to answer the question, what are the first three things you would do in what order? Alrighty. So it's time for some shout outs. Let's, let's get going. <laughs> yo bag! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't start laughing, Guppy. Alright, our first one is from Kyle Ruskit Ruskitty. I think it's Ruskitty. Or Ruskitchy. Oh my gosh. Kyle, I, I tried, okay. And I've asked me to say in a Darth Vader voice. <sighs> yes, Luke, I took the cookies. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle, that's awesome. Our next one is from Security Plays MC, which I assume is Minecraft. Uh, and the vast Mr. Zen and Arnold voice get to the cookies. <laughs> nice one, thanks for that. Alright, our next one is from Sam Adams. And the vast Mr. Zen angler voice. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've done the angler before. Now, he's a bit of a bratty kid. Like, he's always being mean to the character, so I reckon, uh, I reckon he'd sound a bit like. Huh, I just caught the rare cookie fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe a bit old. Probably need to make him sound younger. Anyway, thanks, Sam. That was great. Our next one is from Andre... Oh, gosh. Titan? It's T-I-E-T-J-E-N. So, oh, I'm pretty sure I got the Andre part right, though. You've asked me to say in a Gavin voice, there is the good, the delicious, and the cookie. <laughs> thanks, Andre. Alright, our next one is from um 36 and they've asked me to say in a Wolfgang voice, Huh, pa, mana potions? <laughs> I have cookie potions! <laughs> nice one. Wolfgang's been a bit popular. <laughs> He's a pretty cool character, I must admit. Alright, um, and our last one is from Samandra and, oh gosh, the, the surnames today, guys, I'm trying my best to pronounce them. Um, I'm going to have one go, but I don't want to be disrespectful by saying your names wrong, guys and girls. Uh, I think it's Bajra Sharia. Yeah, Baraj Sharia. Okay, Samandra B. Let's go with that. <laughs> and the last we've seen a Wolfgang voice. Boss fight? No mana? <laughs> no problem. And uh, yeah, that's kind of when I tried to fight the Brain of Confusion with a mage character with no mana potions, because why not? Because mana is optional, apparently. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing your answers to the question today. What first three things should we do in hard mode with Yara and the yo -Yoa? Um, There is a lot to do, but uh, sometimes, you know, when you're doing a series like this, it can be hard to know where to start. So, yeah, can't wait to uh, hear your thoughts on the matter. Um, click that like button. Guys, so much work went into this episode, and... I chopped this down so much for you because I didn't want it to be full of all the farming I had to do and the, the ages of fishing and grinding and oh, guys, so leave a like. You, I think you will know how much I edit it down for you sometimes, so it's nice and enjoyable to watch. So uh, really would appreciate the like on this uh, this video today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. Uh, Gavin's shooting at it now. And uh, <laughs> come and join us. We're so close to our big 75,000 subscriber celebration. And we'll be doing some giveaways and all that good stuff as my way of saying thank you to you amazing people for supporting our channel. Now here's the last part, and I say it every episode, but it's really important to me. I want you all to stay happy, and I'll see you next time. This is Happy Days, shining out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!